Mr. Rick Rubin, the amazing music and self-proclaimed music enthusiast, legendary music producer, I would add, who only tweets once at a time and then deletes the rest with no other tweets underneath, has a new book out. It's called The Creative Act, A Way of Being. Listening to the audiobook now, completely blown away. He was on 60 Minutes talking about it. Um, he was interviewed on his own podcast about it with Malcolm Gladwell. Super, I just, if we're talking about most influential producers in music history, pretty much the top of the list. Such an exciting thing. It's another exciting gift to give us on this amazing first couple few weeks of the year. We also have Third Man Records Vault. They have announced they have finally refreshed their website and they have announced the White Stripes Elephant XX, the 20th anniversary. The album was Seven Nation Army. Little extra treats, a seven inch songs, newly mixed in mono. Jack White himself, beautiful looking package. I'm definitely going to sign up before the end of the month. CD, it looks like in their amazing packaging. They're always top notch. A significant amount being as legendary of an album as it is. Bought the vault stuff before. Never disappointing. Just amazing to see legendary albums get repressed, remastered. Like to see it. You want to talk about Frank Ocean Blonde too before we go? Yeah, we can. Uh, it's If you go to discogs.com, it's literally the first trending release on there. How are the prices doing? What does it look like? What are people saying? Well, looks exactly as it was described to us on the website. 2LP, full color, gatefold packaging with the fold-out lyrics and the fold-out poster. The second official version. Of the original pressing is titled Blonde. This pressing is titled Blonde with the E. Good to note. Was made in Czech Republic. Looks like even Blonde without the vowel is in the dead wax of the vinyl itself. Anybody still waiting on the shipping confirmation? Yep. People looking to trade. People's status not being updated. These prices are ridiculous. What idiot gonna pay more than $50 for this overrated album? I believe it is you that is the idiot. There's nothing overrated about Bone. What are y'all doing? Get off the internet, stop fighting. Not cool, man. Both y'all, cut it out. All right, who's one of y'all lucky that got a misprint copy without Blonde with the E? Print it on the cover. DM me and I'll pay you well. They're like, is that a thing? Is that legit? And they're like, yeah. They sent thing to the mods. A misprint without blonde. Now, I don't think, yeah, I don't believe there's a separate listing for it. But, oh, well, let's look at what people are saying about this sound. Someone's saying, uh, this sounds better than the boot. Happy to have this and selling the Black Friday first pressing now. Whack manufactured scarcity aside, this is instantly my favorite record of my entire collection. Beautiful packaging, pressing is flawless. Only complaint is that the record sleeves are a little torn, but everything else is perfect. It's going to happen in shipping. Sometimes the way they package it, unfortunately, the record bounces around not only in the paper sleeve, which scuffs it up, but it also bounces around in the jacket, which too much up and down, back and forth can beat up not only the inner, the paper inner, <laughs> but the jacket itself is why we ship records to each other. Take the record out, put it in a poly line, and ship it outside the jacket just so that jacket doesn't get beat up, have seam splits. That's what happens. It's brute force, and jackets are made of basically cardboard. So you got to be careful. It happens too much even on sealed records. Something to note when you list albums too online. The condition of the jacket, any seam splits, stuff like that. Jacket tears. Instantly the best packaging and sound quality in my collection. This thing is the real deal. Only complaint is it arrived with a little bit of ring wear on the bottom. Perhaps from being so tightly stacked and packed, anyone else have this? And they're like, mine didn't even come in a mailer. It was just wrapped in bubble wrap and a small box. One of the corners was pretty bent and the inner sleeve was torn, but overall, I don't care. Yeah, they had to ship how many? 20,000 of these. So probably in a little bit of a hurry. Um, 
still doesn't justify the fact that it was arriving beat up. It's going to be their reasoning at the merch store why it arrived like that, unfortunately. Some outer sleeve dings, some ring wear, inner sleeve tears. <sighs> Seems like a heftier LP set, though, than most of the gatefolds, so probably inevitable that we get a little worn. Can confirm it looks and sounds great. Mine sounded just fine. Move from that sleeve and put them in better ones. Gonna be spending all this money just for the crappy paper sleeves that scratch them up. Yeah, it just scuffs it up. You can see it under the light, too. It's all these little hairline stuff or it's like scratches, and that's a lot of it due to the paper and just being thrown around. I had the OG Black Friday pressing as well as the reissue. Sound quality on both is excellent. Dead silent, dynamic. Packaging on this one, though, blows the OG out of the water. Incredible 10 out of 10 all around. There you go. That seems to be the consensus. Great tip on jacket. Dead quiet vinyl. Only issues the paper sleeves and people waiting like me. It's great to hear. Blonde was a much needed repress. Uh, how much is it going for? Well, there were some, uh, obviously, we got some zoo records. Bots slash scammers who are trying to list some stuff. Zoo records, I don't know if they're legit or not. I mean, that looks legit. But I don't trust it. What is this rating? They pop up, they disappear. A couple people buy them. They pop around 115, 120. And um, then people file PayPal claims in a week or two and get their money back because... They don't actually exist and it's people trying to scam and hope that no one notices. But we do, you gotta be careful with these new sellers. A lot of new sellers on here. New seller, new seller, 240. Decent ones for 230. That's about what you can get it for right now, about 230. You can get it under 200 from a new person and when you're willing to take the risk, go for it. But they're going for around 230 on average. Here's the chart, two. 230. That's the way they've been going the past few weeks. They do dip down. Now, these are scammers. As you can see, in Europe. Perhaps not, but just seeing the fact that they were all three the same. There's only limit two per, per purchase in the store, pretty sure. 22, 210. Hey, if you can get around 200 or under, excellent. For a great sounding. We're great sounding pressing a blonde. Very excited to receive mine. You know what also is funny to look back on? Just the fact that 50 years ago, we had all of these albums come out. Dark Side of the Moon, Houses of the Holy by Led Zeppelin, Aladdin Sane by Bowie, Inner Visions by Stevie Wonder, Call Me Al Green, legendary funk album, Roxy Music, Furry Pleasure, Rolling Stone album, Goat's Head Soup, Countdown to Ecstasy by Steely Dan, Leonard Skinner, pronounced Leonard Skinner. Genesis, Selling England by the Pound. Lou Reed, Tom Waits. I can't go through all these. You can Band on the Run. Look at the name. John Carl, Marvin Gaye, Foul. <sighs> Black Sabbath, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. Elton John, Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. Let's get it on by Marvin Gaye. Elton John, Don't Shoot Me. Ah, the Beach Boys, Holland. Todd Rundgren, Bruce Springsteen. Alice Cooper, Billion Dollar Babies. John Lennon. Frank Zappa, Sly and the Family Stone, Fresh, Blue Oyster Cult, Are you Herbie Hancock, Headhunters, another Roxy music. I mean, like James Brown, ZZ Top, Emerson. We have to, it's good to look back. It's good to look back. You know, 50 years passes like a blink, they say. I'm not 50, but I'm sure those who are can concur. It's great to see the vinyl community coming together in times like these. It's fun to see restocks, represses, stuff like that. Ooh, we got to talk about Boy Genius too. I did pre-order pretty much all the variants. We'll go through some of the indie variants now. Splitting this into parts for those of you who do want to go ahead and go. I just want to tell you, keep on grooving your way. And if you're sticking around for a little bit longer, feel free to follow me into the next video and we'll see you there.